Five heavy lights are on two five left, right on number two, following Captain Heavy or Bush three mile five. Okay, number two. Hello everyone, Zach here from Real Sim Gear. Today we will be reviewing the updating firmware process. It's the same for all of our devices. Today I will be updating my GNS 430 bezel with the latest firmware. It's a very simple process, should only take about three to four minutes. Okay, so the first step that you'll wanna do is go to our website at realsimgear.com at the top right, you will see a setup button. Go ahead and click on the setup button and then navigate to setup guides and you'll see the firmware update process. You'll wanna read all of this, but what you will need is to download the Xloader application, which can be found here by clicking on this link. You'll see that it downloads this zip folder and what you'll want to do is basically open that zip folder and I just drag this folder right here to my desktop. Next you'll go back to the firmware update process and click on please find all firmware here and you'll want to find the firmware that you are trying to update. So today we'll be updating my GNS 430 so we'll go ahead and click on that one. You'll see you'll also download a program here. I also drag that to the desktop. It makes it super easy for setup. So we can close all this. Now you'll want to open the folder uh, Xloader and you'll see there's a program in here that's called Xloader application. So the first thing that you'll want to do is select which uh, which device you're going to be updating it to. So you'll see there's a few different options. You'll want to choose the Mega AT Mega 2560. That's the type of board that's inside the, uh, the 430. Then you'll want to choose what COM port you're going to be updating to. You'll click on this. You might have two options here. For me, I know mine is number three. Um, you can also verify which COM port you would want to update to. I do recommend if you have multiple real sim gear devices, multiple Arduino devices connected to your computer to unplug those during this update process to prevent updating the wrong firmware to a different device. To find out which COM port you would like to do, you can go to your Windows uh, device manager. And over here, you want to click on ports, and you'll see that the Arduino Mega 2560, which is Mega 2560, that one matches that, is COM port 3. So you'll select COM port 3, and then you'll select the firmware file, which is the file we downloaded here. So it's on our desktop. So we'll go here, desktop, real sim gear, open. You'll want to leave the baud rate, the default setting, 115,200. We'll click on upload. And you'll see it was a successful upload. That's it. That's the entire process to updating your RealSim Gear device. Thank you for watching and happy flight sending.